Savannah, Trip W uh, emailed, what was going through your mind when you recently interviewed Joel Osteen over his Hurricane Harvey controversy? Oh, um, well, I was really glad that he came on the show, honestly. I mean, he had all this controversy. I think people remember whether or not he had opened up. They have this huge church. I mean, it's in an arena, whether or not he had opened it up fast enough for people. And I guess what I thought was, you know, at least he came on and he answered the questions. And I think that took a lot of courage, and I'm glad he did. And I think he did open the church. I don't know the ins and outs of what actually happened, but bottom line, they did open the church, and I think that's great because there was a lot of need. Do you call BS, after interviews are over, do you, I mean, do you ever turn to Matt and say, man, mm -hmm. what a liar? No, I mean, not, not about like him. that, because no. I wouldn't, probably put it in those terms right. but yeah sometimes but honestly like i find in those situations i'm not mad at the person because i i'm more mad at myself you know i would be more thinking i wish i could have pinned that down right. or should i have asked a harder question should i've been more direct should i've been more pointed that you know i mean i so if i felt someone was being slippery yeah i think i would direct the criticism at myself that's interesting sometimes do you find asking the harder question gets you like asking the easier questions you can kind of get in the back door and get a better sometimes answer. Sometimes yeah. you can. I mean, sometimes that is a better technique. Yeah. But uh, but the other thing is I always think about the person at home and I don't want them throwing things at the TV like, "Why aren't you asking yeah, the question yeah, we yeah. all want to know the answer right. to?" It is Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.